So where does this possession anxiety come from? I mean, do, are we? Well, as a realtor, I'm called in every day to go look at houses. And literally, you'll walk in and people are frozen in place. Yes, I would like to move, but what on earth am I going to do with all this stuff? They say, I can't get rid of this. I don't even know where to start. How do you get people to look at all their possessions differently? Again, I, I think it's the realization of what can they take and what's the most important thing. My goal with our clients is to make sure that if it's really important to them, it's important to see if it will fit. Um, it's okay to say if you have two, only one will fit. What's your, what's your favorite? What's the one that means the most to you? You know, then maybe you have to give up something else so both of them fit. But you know, it really is that process of negotiation and having them make up their mind. It's okay if they want to take their, you know, 10 foot section of teacups but their dresser won't fit. So what's more important? Do you want to buy a chest of drawers and buy a, a nice bookcase so you get a compromise? It's, it's okay to compromise, but what do they really want? And it's asking those questions over and over until they decide.